Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will discuss on differential form of Gauss law. Previously, I have made a video on electrostatics. The video is very important. So you can watch the video, uh, the link of the playlist, electrostatics playlist, I will give in the description box. So we know that the Gauss law, uh, e dot ds, e dot ds vector, that means e dot n cap into ds, okay so e dot ds integration okay surface integral e dot e dot ds is equal to what that means this is the flux electric flux is equals to q enclosed by epsilon 0 here what is q epsilon uh, what is q enclosed q enclosed means the charge enclosed right so if uh, we have a distribution of charges okay we have a arbitrary distribution of charges okay so for this uh, distribution of charges suppose this distribution of charge is uh, in a volume of space okay that means this uh, we have a uh, 3d space and in this 3d space we have uh, charges in uh, uh, different positions of space okay so for this uh, volume charge distribution we have to calculate uh, or we have to uh, find the differential form of gauss law Okay, so we can write from here that e dot ds, e dot ds vector is equals to q enclosed means if here uh, this is a uniform distribution, we are assuming that this is a uniform distribution and the uh, rho that means the charge density that means q enclosed by volume, okay, this is the volume charge density into d tau or d uh, v okay we have to just integrate this and divide it by epsilon naught so rho into dv integral this is nothing but our q enclosed if we integrate this over the total volume then we can uh, get the total q enclosed okay so now applying the gauss divergence theorem we know that uh, what gauss divergence theorem tells us gauss divergence theorem tells us that del dot any vector field here this is electric field vector e so del dot e into dv integration over a volume is equal to the e dot ds over the closed surface okay over the closed surface so applying this here we can write this now if you uh, don't know what is uh, how this equation comes so I, I will suggest you to watch the video which I have uh, previously made on the physical significance of divergence then you can easily understand that what is del dot e okay this is a very important uh, property or very important uh, thing del dot e divergence of electric field divergence okay so the link of the video I will give in the description box or you can uh, watch that video from the i button so del dot e that is divergence of e uh, into dv volume integral will be equal to rho dv by epsilon 0. Now if uh, if we rearrange this then it will be del dot uh, del dot e del dot e into epsilon 0 minus if we take this toward left hand side then this will be rho dv in the total integral okay or uh, here this dv will be taken outside dv this will be equal to 0 right so from here we can easily understand that the volume integral cannot be 0 okay that is this element dv cannot be 0 so we have to just one uh, possibility that this quantity must be equal to 0 to equal the right hand side so this quantity will be 0 so if this quantity is 0 then it will imply that del dot e epsilon 0 is equal to our rho that means del dot e is equal to rho over epsilon 0 for, for free space okay epsilon 0, zero is applied for free space and if you have a dielectric medium then this epsilon 0 will be replaced by epsilon that is our uh, relative permittivity. Now 
uh, this is the form of differential form of Gauss law. This is our required differential form of Gauss law. This is a very important equation in electrostatics. Now, from here we can do one more thing that del dot E. Now we know that what is E? What is E? E can be uh, written as minus grad of phi. Where phi is what? Phi is our electric potential. Okay, phi is electric potential, or uh, it is uh, written with v sometimes. Okay, v or phi. Okay, so it is what De, uh, e is equals to minus grad of phi. That is, as electric field. I think you all know that why this happens. Electric field is a conservative field, force field. Okay, electric field is a conservative force field, and we know that in conservative force field, we can express the force with the with the uh, gradient of any scalar quantity or in the in this case the gradient of the potential the gradient of the potential is equal to the electric field okay electric field intensity now if we apply this here so what will be that so del dot phi minus will be taken outside so this will be divergence of sorry divergence of gradient phi right divergence of gradient phi is equals to rho over epsilon naught so this will be just del square of phi but del square of phi what is this del square of phi means the laplacian this is the our laplacian operator okay i think you know that this is our laplacian operator operator so del square of phi is equals to rho over epsilon naught now this equation Yes, here it will be a minus, okay, del square phi equals to minus of rho over epsilon naught. This equation is known as our Poisson's equation. Equation. And if in the medium, rho is what? Rho is our uh, charge density. So, if in our medium, if at any point, in uh, suppose we have uh, choose a point here. And if we examine that in this point in our chosen point the rho is equals to zero that is the charge density at this point if it is zero then for that point this equation will be what del square of phi will be just equals to zero because rho is equals to zero so now this equation del square phi is, uh, is equals to zero this equation uh, is called our laplace's equation So this is our discussion on differential form of Gauss law. In the upcoming classes, I will discuss on some very important and very uh, interesting uh, topics like uh, why electric uh, field lines are uh, not closed like magnetic field lines uh, and uh, many topics like electrostatics boundary condition and so many things. So share this video with your friends and if you are new to this channel then subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for getting the upcoming notifications of my latest videos. So take care of yourself. Thank you for watching.